Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and this is RimWorld and we are back today with another episode of the Toxic Waster series. Here it is. We do have some rats running around, that is correct. It is our venerated animal, the rat, so we just kind of let them roam here in the safe area so they don't go outside and get killed by some mech or something. But our people definitely enjoy it. It's a small bonus, but they do like having the venerated rat. Let's see, plus one, there it is. Now, if we happen to eat rat meat, that's not good either. They will get upset by that. I have tested that, in fact. I know that for, uh, I know that to be true. Now, if we look in the freezer, you will notice there's some blood packs in here. So we do have a new sanguophage, my very first one, in fact. And believe it or not, he's actually named after me. <laughs> he just came to the map with that name, but, um, he is obviously a sanguifage, so he's not immune to the toxins. So we're currently giving him some tox lungs, detox lungs. And I threw on the exoskeleton suit there to give him some extra carrying capacity. Pretty sweet. But um, hopefully if this doesn't go bad. All right, there he is. So this man is now set up, ready to go. I don't really know how they get more abilities or if he's maxed out or what, but there's there's got to be a way to learn of it. Right? Oh, it says building. This determines how many bed rest buildings can connect. It's increased using death rest serums. These serums can be purchased from traders. Okay. So he needs a death rest building. Uh, would that be under biotech? Huh. Mac recharger. I don't see it. I have zero experience with this. Zero. I've done the Mechanitor. Now I've done genetics. But Sanguifage is new to me. So perhaps I should look through the furniture. Or just forget all about it and get distracted by something totally unrelated and, you know, get sidetracked, which is probably what'll happen. Speaking of which, there's Linka, uh, our newest furry. And she is also, what is she doing over here? What are you doing? Oh, she's got her, that's right, we just installed the uh, Xena germination. <laughs> so that's what she's going through right now, a little coma, a little 18-hour coma. That's not bad. So if we look at her, of course, she was a furry, but now she's whatever we want. She's perfect immunity, total antitox lungs, aggressive, very sleepy, purple skin. I, uh, maybe because of the fur, we don't see it, which is a shame, but that's okay. And poor plants, poor autistic, psychite impervious. So have as much psychite as you want, Linka. It's all on you. Now, speaking of furries, where's our other furry? Where you at? Oh, she's where she headed training rat okay well her bedroom was over here funny little side note the furry that we've had for a while we're trying to force her to fall in love with clope and they're not technically together but i did go ahead and force them to share the same bed hoping that would you know oh look clope says rebuffed by furry dang it so mm, got the cold shoulder even i wonder if you tried to make his move in bed or over the breakfast table or what probably either way it didn't go well for him poor guy well even if lenka or furry doesn't rejects clope they still need some new weapons because furry's using an iron uh iron wood uh hammer so we're getting rid of that and lenka doesn't have any weapons she's going to be a new melee character too by the way that's the other furry and she where princess is working on two plasteel long swords so i'm hoping we get masterwork at least here maybe a legendary that would be amazing but man those things can be oh she quit right before she finished it now don't rest just finish this i want to see what she does but uh, these things can be so devastating more deadly than mana swords well that means it's probably an excellent quality because we didn't get a notification yeah it's just excellent well i mean that's still an extremely good weapon and i bet you it's still very very damaging Let's go ahead and give it to her. Furry, please drop that. And we're going to wake her up. She'll probably gl be glad to be woken up because she is sharing a bed with somebody who she doesn't really like. All right. Well, there we go. There's the masterwork longsword I was hoping for. Actually, I was hoping for legendary, but what are you going to do? So 
Uh, Lika is still downed from her Xena germination coma, seven hours, but I won't forget. Or if I do, I'll remember at the last possible moment, right before she's about to fight somebody, and I'll see she has no weapon. And then I'll remember. But uh, nonetheless, we've got some other stuff going on right now. We've increased our gene bank storage, of course, because we have ourselves a little prisoner here, Zari, who is a genie. And that's one of those like Xeno types that you don't see very often, at least I don't. So I figured let's grab them, throw them in there, her, sorry. And she is currently regrowing. And since we have a sanguifage, she is also our blood donor. So you can see she's going through that. This dude right here, just ignore him. He's here for a, a, a quest. And it's not even like a violent quest. We're just keeping him for 21 days. He's got paralytic beja. There's not even a raid attached to this sucker. So it's getting a little boring around here. I'm hoping for a nice little attack at some point. You can see I'm starting to expand our capacity for turrets. I'm going to place some more of these over here. Let's see, probably one over here. I like to spread them out. I don't want it to be too regular here. Let's see. Oh, I can't put it there because there's some water right there. It's hard to tell. You know what I think I'm going to do is I'll dig this out and we'll situate one right there. Right there. I'll give it a little bit of a gap at least. Oh boy. Well, I wanted excitement and I sure got it. 14,000 threat points used for this mech cluster. Let's go watch it fall. Ooh, it's a big one. Mm. What do we got? What do we got? Any uh, mortars? I don't see any mortars. Three mech assemblers. Oh boy, some mech capsules. We won't be able to see any um, dormant mechs here. So there almost certainly are some laying here. We can only see the structures, obviously. Look at that. Seven unstables. There's a shield. The mech high shield. Interesting. We can take that out, though. I mean, one EMP shell will knock it out for a while. Look at all these unstables. Dang. I have a feeling this is not even going to be that big of a threat. Oh, wait. I just noticed. Oh, well, we're, it's definitely a threat. We have to take it out now. All right, it's pretty far from the map, but with our bombardment, I think we can level this thing, at least reduce it down to not much of a threat. Let's see, it's going to be a massive explosion. So first things first, let's get everything nice and situated, nice and safe. All right, going to leave my warlock mechs uh, unrestricted here just because it makes things easier if we actually activate them. But uh, the people I am going to restrict everybody there even though oop, link uh switch that over now i will grab my most intelligent people because mortar goes off intellectual that's gonna start with raider hiroshi come on over with your beautiful pink self and zach no skunk no sun no clope get over here clope iron chef yes he's not only intelligent but a lucy addict so hopefully that'll Give him some increased work speed or something. Now, one other thing I like to do is when I have these, set them all to hold fire. Check that green. So they'll hold their fire until each one is fully loaded and ready. And then we can send a full volley all at once. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully we get a massive explosion out of this. I did buy a fifth mortar barrel because we do require barrels to build these. I mean, I'll set it up. I guess I'll put it like, um, I have to put it over here because there's no roof there. But, um, I don't know. We're not, obviously I'm not going to wait for that, but, um, probably good. I was going to get that as just a backup in case one gets destroyed or they all get destroyed. But, uh, let's see. So if I speed it up now, we should be good. Okay. They're ready to go, folks. Let's do this. Um, well, you know what? I just realized I have to do the EMP, don't I? Yeah, so these are probably all loaded with regular shells. Well, in that case, tell you what, let's go ahead and dismiss everybody. We will go ahead and build this. It won't take long. If we have the ingredients, obviously, that will help. And I think we do. So let me get that one set up. Then what I'll do, so this way I don't have to empty any shells. It wouldn't take long. It's just a pain in the butt. But what I'll do with this, this will be our EMP. And we'll get a fifth person down here. Once it's uh, all built, then we'll set it off, you know, because as long as we keep everybody tucked away inside, I think they're probably dormant right now. 
Does it say? It is suppressing us, so I think that's active. But the mechs themselves don't think are active right now. But, man, I can't wait to see this explosion. Okay, well, can you see it? It's right there. There it is, the little blue striped M EMP mortar shell. Let's go. Let's follow it in its little trail as it finds its way right back home where it belongs. Okay, <laughs> there it goes. It has just plucked the shield, charge cycle 10 days, down for half an hour, basically, 0.4 hours. So let's get back to the mortars. There we go. And you can see my boy Ryan, he's down here re refilling it. That's good, buddy. Now I want you to hold your fire. But these four are ready to go. Now, some of them might have some tox shells. I hope not. You know what I'm going to do? Do we have any more of those left? We have one here. Let me just forbid that. So if they go to refill it, they won't do it again. But now we get to set force target. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm just going to put it right here on these two. We'll, we'll we might have to do multiple volleys, but hey, I'm totally cool with that. How are you guys? Are you okay with multiple volleys? Let's do it. Let's go. You don't even need to answer. It was rhetorical. Look at them all going for the refill. <gasps> Love it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, nice. Come on, guys. Those look accurate. Those look super accurate. Okay, so the right side has now been destroyed. The mechs are awake. Let's go ahead and set target over here now. Okay, and the bars are full once again. There they go. You can hear that lovely little trigger sound. Boom, and they rush to like little piglets to the teat for the next round. Here we go. We've got a few mechs triggered. They're coming down. Oh, that does not deter us in the least. All right, now it's time to set target on this sucker. But while we do that, I need to go ahead and make sure... I'm going to leave him there, but we got to grab everybody else. We're going to need them all, so I'm going to make sure we don't pick any of these. Yeah, I'm going to leave Ryan in charge of that EMP just in case we got to take that sucker down. No, you know what? Uh, we probably destroyed the shield, didn't we? Yeah, no doubt about it. That shield's gone, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, let's get set up. All right, we have got ourselves lined up for that next and hopefully final volley. Ooh, ooh. Well, it isn't going to be the final one. They didn't quite destroy it, but we do have everybody lined up here. I think, obviously, the best choice here is to prop these doors open because the mechs are hiding. I know they're over here. I saw a centipede. I'm a little nervous that they're going to start attacking the walls, but I'm keeping an eye. The good thing about the Fog of War is if they do start shooting, you will see the shooting happening. So imagine, like bullets lighting up the fog of war essentially but um we've got quite a firing squad ready to go yep see as soon as you open that door up boom give them a give them a straight shot to your most valuable and uh yep interior parts oh my god okay they're coming a little quick head on back in there buddy whoa whoa whoa, whoa. get back get back i didn't mean to use him actually i meant to i always try and use a melee for that job but you can see, too, as soon as, like, you close those doors, some of them, are, they just stop. They're like, well, what happened? Huh? Look, there goes the volleys. Oh. Oh, so close. 33. All right, we're going to let our, we're going to let them keep working. These mechs don't have a clue what they're doing. I don't think they've got a single shot off, to be honest. We're crushing them. <gasps> Oh, it is open over here. <laughs> That's okay. Like I said, I try and keep it uh, segregated, but I just noticed over here. So let's take care. Let's grab those. No, can I move them? Oh, there might be... Oh, there's roofs over here. That's not going to matter, is it? All right, princess. Time to get into it, folks. All right, so we've got our flank being attacked. Let's move Kristoff over here, and he's got a shield on him. And we'll move our mechs, the Militors, right there. Actually, that's good. Okay, let's see. I might have to move Emma a little bit. All right. Melee. Melee. I'm going to move Princess back. Um, get back, get back, get back. Fall back, people. Fall back. That thing's going to explode. 
Oh my god, that was a big explosion. Missile, I think, just took a hit. Pretty serious one. Bruise and crush. Alright, well, no immediate danger. Let's get back in that fight. That was a big, big explosion right there, but not worried about it. Emma is... We don't really need... I was going to say she's going to be our bait and stand in the door, but to be honest, we don't need that now. We've got literally an open portal to the uh, base right now, so let's just clear out whatever's already engaged here. Good. Come on now. And there's... Oh, we got a centipede. All right. Furry, it's time. Your time to shine, furry. Actually, get that go juice up in you. All right, now get in here. Let's go. Do me. Do another one of these. Ooh. Come on. Oh, we're going to need some backup. Princess. Get that go juice in you. And jump over here. Nice. Nice. Get it. Get it. Get on it, princess. Ideally, they'd have some blunt weapons against these mechs, but honestly, I think they're going to be fine. Missile, how you doing? Oh boy, how's your health? Hey, he's in no immediate danger. So, really, I should just bring over my firing squad. Let's do that. Missile, fall back. These two are doing okay, though. Let's have them come out a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got more bug, er, bugs. We got more mechs coming. All right, how's this? All right, finally, they have cleared it. They've done their jobs. Guys, get up front. I need you to join your companions here. Oh, social fight, social fight, everybody. Don't worry, I knew it would happen. I fully expected that. Actually, let's fall back, fall back, fall back. Come on, princess, you're too valuable to be on the front lines out there. Get back inside. All right, Militors, I need you over there, back to your original position. Missile, go ahead and lay down. Let's see here. All right, let's get everybody who's not in a social fight to please, like, get to work, I guess. Hurry the heft up. Well, let me grab these people. Come on. Run and gun, people. That's what it's called. There we go. All right, do we have anything left? We're going to go up there and just extinguish this mech cluster. We've done all the hard work for the uh, for the pawn, so the mortars have done the hard work, I should say. Oh, come on. Hold on. I've got to go in here and switch this out real quick. All right. There we go. Everybody is set to the proper zone, and we are taking out any straggling mechs here. I think I'm going to release Furry. She shouldn't be in this group. Also, the kids can go... Um... Anybody who's injured, get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, assault the... Yeah, get out of here, you guys. All right. We're going to go ahead and assault the actual cluster. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Do we have a smoke, smoke, smoke? We should, right? We've got so many different things here. Is that smoke? No. My... Oh, there it is. Nice. Get in there. That was a good quick one. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Get in there. Now let's pop another one. Right there, we'll just start a little tunnel, a little corridor of smoke here. There you go. Obviously, we're going to be limited with our smoke. There we go. Now, is there anything left? God, there might not even be any. Oh, there's a few turrets over here. All right, there's some good, good components in Plasteel, though, isn't there? All right, guys, take them out. Oh, <gasps> Jella's just become an adult. It's the most gorgeous thing I've heard in my life. Come on, guys. Take these things out. Do it. You don't need any fancy maneuvers. Smoke. Well, maybe a little smoke wouldn't hurt. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, a little late for the smoke there. Sorry. That was my bad. Okay, so we've got all that. Let's grab these. Boy, that mech cluster, man, doesn't take much, does it? A few well-placed mortar shells. Ah, uh, that was pretty good, though. Glad we did that. Okay, and to celebrate the Mech Cluster victory, we do get to do a final growth event for uh, Chella. And I love her favorite color. That is such a good color, blue. I like that. That's probably my favorite color, too. But anyway, let's see. We've got three passions to uh, place here. Definitely going to go 
Looks like she's going to be a melee, huh? Melee medical for sure. Although, honestly, she probably doesn't even need that medical. I could save that. We could do shooting and melee. I wish she had mining up here again, but she doesn't, so... Alright, screw it. We'll just go for medical. Right? Should I? Plants? Yeah. No, let's do plants. That's fine. We'll do a little plant action. She is well adapted. Very, very well-rounded pawn. For sure. Now we get one trade. Look at her traits already. Tough, iron willed, trigger happy. Oh my god, for real? That's like the best. The next best would probably be psychopath or psychically dull, but I'm gonna do trigger happy. Masochist isn't that bad. Uh but trigger happy is amazing. Good for you. Was her name Celia? No. Cella. 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 I think. Anyway, so Chella's here. She's a, ooh, she's a little bit injured, but she did grow up in the hospital. She had her final growth moment. Oh, boy. But with that trigger happy, I don't know. I kind of want to see if uh, maybe Princess can make a nice, like, legendary minigun or something. That would be cool. Those are pretty expensive, as I remember, though. Where's the old minigun? Is it at the fabrication bench? <gasps> you know what? I might just go ahead and give her a... Um, charge rifle yeah let's just make an extra charge rifle for her i think even with the kind of the wild shooting that'll be okay let's make two heck why not i'm not even gonna say a word i'm not nope we're just we're just gonna look at what that was about ground insulted hiroshi's nephew's melee's fighting stat well yeah you insult the nephew you insult the uncle i can attest to that that's that's rough Okay, well, in our recovery after that mech cluster, I've decided to see, and you can see, we've actually got a ton of mechs now, which is good. We need that raw material, but um, I've decided to free up some space, and I've loaded up two pods here. One is a friendly gift to our little pig friends. It's probably not going to be worth must, much, yeah, plus seven, but hey, it's good to get rid of it it's a bunch of junky like tribal weapons this next one is full of oh an insulting gift it's a gift nonetheless some people consider toxic waste a gift right so we i don't know if you caught that but i'm actually going to send it right here to this imperial settlement that's right so we don't like the empire there it goes there they go yep the empire is our enemy I intentionally insulted them and made them uh, pissed off at us just because I wanted a challenge at some point, you know. And, you know, I can be honest, the one or two raids they did send at us almost ended the colony. So, oh, social fight. It was definitely a challenge. Man, oh, man. Ryan just brought Princess down. Princess, come on. What's your melee skills at? Oh, girl, you need to get that up. Come on. Oh my gosh, well, Ryan is the Sangophage. He has, like, unnatural bloodlust strength or whatever. Oh, that reminds me. Or that makes me think I should make, like, a bloodlust pawn who is also a Sangophage. That seems very, like, on-brand for that kind of thing. But uh, nonetheless, guys, the colony continues on, even if, even if it is constantly under pressure of social fights. But nonetheless, guys, I appreciate you all coming by for these episodes. Oh, another social fight. There it is. Ryan just got into a fight with Hiroshi, probably insulted his pink clothing, but I'm glad you guys could tune in for this one and catch all the fun-filled action. All right, well, if you are enjoying it, I hope you'll hit that like button for me, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a very special shout out to my Patreon members. They are fantastic people. Interstick, Mr. PZ Jones, Lady Viz, and Spuds. Thank you guys so much. Couldn't have done it without you. And I also want to show off this uh, fan art by Vita. It's a cuttlefish scientist. Thank you, Vita.